Uh, I'm Barry and uh, I live just outside Manchester, um, 68 years old and uh, that's a little bit about my background. I'm retired now um, and I consulted Mr Paul Mordy for uh, a problem that I had with my heart. Okay, I was diagnosed with um, a faulty aortic valve. It was a bicuspid aortic valve. Um, probably had it since birth. About um, quite a few years ago now, this was diagnosed by um, an echocardiogram. And the three stages of the calcification, in other words, the narrowing, the stenosis of the valve uh, were mild, moderate and severe. Uh, it started off as mild and then was quite quickly uh, accelerated to moderate and then over a couple of years it started to come into the high moderate but severe category and in fact in June 2023 it was diagnosed as severe and the cardiologist said it, at that stage um, you really need to get something done about this. So uh, I set about looking for a cardiothoracic surgeon because um, I was fairly keen to have what's called minimal invasive surgery. Uh, in other words, keyhole surgery that most people would recognize it as. But that procedure is carried out more on the mitral valve. Uh, as you can see, I probably did learn a lot about it in a very, very short time. Um, uh, but however, uh, I, I went along and found what I thought was the best surgeon for me uh, up near where I live in the Northwest of England. Um, and uh, contacted Mr. Paul Mordy. Um, that was fairly simple to do. Um, I did it through uh, the website and uh, fairly quickly got a reply back from his medical secretary inviting me in for my initial consultation. Yeah, it was, it was very straightforward actually. Um, I went and saw him uh, over in Liverpool um, where he practices from. Um, it only took a few days really um, and uh, the whole process was fairly simple and straightforward. During the uh, consultation um, he sort of had the results that had been sent across from the cardiologists saying what the condition was and uh, the results of things like uh, ECGs, echocardiograms, I had to have a chest X-ray, uh, blood tests, all the usual tests that you might imagine that you had to have, all fairly straightforward. Uh, he was great with us. Um, he explained everything very, very simply um, and very uh, succinctly. Uh, it was it was great. Uh, it, it was better than I actually thought it ever could be. Um, I think, you know, I was really, really lucky. Um, I think I chose probably one of the best cardiothoracic surgeons that is probably uh, practicing today. Paul Mordy doesn't come over as your normal surgeon. I mean, if you've ever had surgery before, uh, and I have had it twice before for different, for different conditions, um, the surgeons can tend to sort of be a little bit arrogant and tend to say, well, look, you know, I know what's best for you. What really you need to do is do this. And he doesn't do that at all. He listens to you. Um, he takes your concerns on board and puts you completely at ease. Um, he's, he's different. <laughs> he's just different. What I would say to anyone who's looking to have a procedure done with him is to is to literally go and chat to him um, and you know look at him and the big thing about somebody uh, who's going to have an operation like the one I had which resulted in open heart surgery is that the guy who's you're looking at is is going to be the man who's going to literally have your life in his hands you've got to trust him you've got to put every conceivable uh, I alter of trust in this person that you're talking to because he, he literally does have your life in his hands. And I get it. I really do get it. He's, you know, there's a lot of words used like world class and top of his game and everything else. 
we've all heard those terms before, but he's really there. He's, he's, he's the real deal. He really is. Um, I can only tell you that if it was you and you were in this situation that I was in, then he's the guy that you really need to be going talking to.